privacy. You don't want a restaurant where you're too crowded, don't want a restaurant where it's too loud, and of course many restaurants are loud because that's the way they're designed today. Um, yeah, a good example of a place, uh, to me a romantic place, is Folks Folly because they have the private rooms where you know the curtain is drawn, so you don't have a lot, you have n no distraction. You get to concentrate on your dinner date, and the only person that's going to come by is your server who's going to bring your wine or your food, but otherwise, you know, it's, it's an intimate dinner. What if you want to go have fun? Then, you know, you're going to want a, a care and carrier restaurant where, you know, it's real lively and people are bustling around and, you know, something like the beauty shop, uh, Napa Cafe, Felicia Suzanne's, those are two that I would say have in the decor, they're not feminine, but they're a little bit, they're a little softer, maybe better for a romantic dinner. Uh, Itabina is a nice place, and, and that, that has a high energy also because it's right above Bill Street, but it's got even, it even has one little booth that has a door if you want to shut the door and be completely private. Flight. Flight is uh, nice. It's quiet. Uh, of course, you know, Erling's, same thing. Uh, Iris. There, there's so many that just going down the list, I mean, you, you shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't have to look too hard to find the place. The main thing, of course, is knowing that you're not taking somebody anywhere that they're going to be uncomfortable and that they're going to like the food.